everyone, it's Ruby here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having the most amazing, wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. Now in today's video, I will be filming a review on the Naturopathica Clear Skin Active Supplement, which has been formulated and created for those who have mild to moderate acne. And I'm pretty sure that you can get this at chemist warehouse stores. Now I will be filming this in a two part series over 12 weeks, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you have your post notifications turned on so you can see my skin update. Now this video, this series is definitely something different to what you're used to seeing on my channel. And to be real with you guys, it's definitely something different for me as well, not just as a content creator who was making films for YouTube, but also as a woman, as a human being with acne I've had breakouts for as long as I can remember like I know what it's like entering high school and having acne it is such an awkward and difficult phase in one's life and it's just made that much harder when you have acne I also know how difficult it is to Enter university as a young adult trying to figure out if this course is right for you, if you want to do this, you know, trying to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life. And again, it's made so much more harder when you do have a face full of breakouts and pimples. And for me, like the biggest, like this was probably like the lowest point in my life. I entered the workforce and, you know, you're an adult, your skin's supposed to be clear. You're not supposed to have breakouts and pimples and acne and whatever. And I remember entering the workforce and I was heartbroken to still have my breakouts. And in every single institution that I have been in, in school, in university, in the workforce, like I've always been known as the girl with bad skin or the girl with acne. And it's just so heartbreaking. Over the last couple of years, studies have shown a connection between acne and poor gut health. So that's when I started to implement probiotics daily in, I guess, my health and well-being routine. It was about three or four months ago, I started to research what vitamins and supplements help relieve mild to moderate acne. And this was like right after I had a really bad emotional breakdown over my skin and the condition of my skin. I just, I wasn't feeling my best. I wasn't looking my best. And you've probably noticed why I've been absent um, off of my channel um, because I do have skin demons. So I started researching what vitamins and supplements would be ideal for somebody who suffers with mild to moderate acne to just kind of relieve the breakouts and all of that inflammation and a lot of people were saying vitamin a zinc vitamin c vitamin e and i didn't want to be taking like four to seven different vitamins for the rest of my life if you know what i mean like that is a lot of money and a lot of vitamins like i don't do well like swallowing pills like i just i i, I physically can't do it and i don't want to do it. So when I saw this, I thought like this, this could change my skin and maybe even my life since acne has literally stopped me from doing a lot of things in my life because I've just been too, too self-conscious. If you have acne or any skin condition for that matter, then you would know just how I don't like to I don't like to use the word debilitating but when you are that self-conscious and when your life is ruled by the condition of your skin like I just feel like that is like no way to live it is the like my skin is the first thing that I think about when I wake up and that morning walk to the bathroom to brush my teeth and get ready is very daunting because it's like, what has my skin sprouted today? And strangely enough, it's the last thing that you think about when you go to bed, when you apply your skincare and you just hope that 
you don't have any more breakouts. While it may seem that you know you get breakouts that pop up overnight, your breakouts are actually forming underneath the skin like days before you actually see them pop up on the surface. So knowing that and taking a supplement, like it just, it makes sense to have something that will support your body internally. Just a little quick background story. I wasn't a fan of oral acne treatments. I saw a dermatologist years ago when I was younger who wanted to put me on Roaccutane, which is a very popular, very strong vitamin that is, you know, supposed to get rid of your acne entirely. But in order to be on Roaccutane, I had to take the pill because high doses of vitamin A in your body actually cause birth defects if you are trying to have a baby or you are pregnant. I'm pretty sure my dermatologist and I tried about nine different contraceptive pills, which none of them worked. I had really bad side effects to all of them, which included random, like very aggressive nosebleeds, gum bleeds, bed riddling headaches, uh, shortness of breath, tightness in my chest. The last one that I was on was called Zoily and I had a really bad reaction to it where the lower half of my face actually started to swell. I looked like Will Smith in the movie Hitched when he had that allergic reaction. It just, it wouldn't go down. So after that, like I, I wasn't allowed to be on Roaccutane because I couldn't take the pill. Um, it was a very, very low time for me because not only did I look like crap in my mind because of my acne, but I just, because of all the side effects, I wasn't physically well. So yeah, I didn't have a really good experience with like oral um, treatments for acne. Um, so that's why I'm hopeful for this one because it's a vitamin. Um, so yeah. So basically it has been formulated to support your body and help fight acne from the inside. In my last glass skin makeup tutorial video, I said to you guys that I'm really happy with my skincare routine. I just needed, I just needed something to help with my breakouts internally. I don't know if you guys saw that video or remember that. So I noticed that when my gut health isn't doing well, that my skin breaks out. So I do have a link there when it comes to myself. I know a lot of people, hormones play a big role in the way that your skin looks and how your breakouts look and also stress. It has vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant that you would have been familiar with in your skincare products. There's also vitamin C, which has been known to help with collagen production. Vitamin B5, I've actually talked about on my channel before because it's actually in some of my favorite skincare products. It's really good for helping your skin heal and it's just great for your skin's turnover. You've probably heard of silica before, which helps with like your skin, your hair, your nails, and it's just a really, really good, powerful ingredient to have if you are trying to look after your skin internally. There's also zinc in here, which is great at controlling your oil production and biotin, which just supports your skin overall. There's also chromium and lactoferrum, which is going to help clear your skin. Dosage wise, you want to take one capsule twice a day for 12 weeks. It also has a tip on the box. It says, Try probiotics. Studies have shown that a healthy gut microbe may be linked to healthy skin, which I fully believe because it has worked for me, like introducing a probiotic into my life has just been a game changer. So I really do have high hopes for this one. I mean, the only health concern or warning that I can see on this um, box is that if you are planning to have a baby or you are pregnant, um, it's not advised that you take any vitamin A as it may potentially cause birth defects. So definitely have a chat to your doctor um, and see if this is right for you. Anything that you put into your body, whether it is a medication or a vitamin, it is definitely a good idea to speak to your doctor, especially if you do have any health concerns that you may be worried about. 
So there's 30 capsules in a box and they come packaged like this. So I'm gonna take one now. And this is what it looks like. So there's like a white powder in this clear capsule. I mean, there's no real smell besides like that typical capsule smell. I need water. I always have trouble swallowing pills. Oh, I am so glad that these aren't like tablets because otherwise they would have never, ever, ever gone down. I can't do like tablets. I can only do like those slippery capsules. All right. Now what I'm going to do is check in with you guys later today when I'm about to take my second capsule and just let you know how I feel, if there's any difference to my skin. I doubt that there would be, um, if there are any side effects and stuff like that. So I will check in with you in a little bit. So I have just toned down my makeup because I have this brilliant idea. I am going to take you guys with me to Harris Farm Markets because I want to do a fresh produce shop. I want to get dark leafy greens, avocado, nuts and seeds and just like fruits and vegetables that are known to promote like healthy skin. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do my best to eat really well over the next few weeks just to give my skin the best chance possible. So let's go. Always trying to find another reason to leave but we sit at home all alone. I'm stuck on the bottom, trying to feel on top Wishing everything would just come to a stop I am back and it's time to take tablet two um, So far, I just, I feel normal I mean, when I was on Roaccutane I instantly felt my skin getting drier after like a few days of taking it whilst being on the pill as well, which was not comfortable whatsoever. So I'm hoping that this isn't going to make my skin dry or itchy or anything like that. I, I need some water. I'll be back. Actually, it kind of has like a paprika taste in your mouth for some reason. It could have been something that I've eaten. It's probably not that. probably going to end it here for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this video a little later on so today is the 2nd of October I will be uploading this video maybe in mid to late November just so when I post the second follow-up video um, there's not going to be like a huge gap of time between each video just so I know you might not be patient or you're quite eager to see results and I just don't want you waiting too long so I will be uploading um, I finished it 12 weeks I will upload it the second video in December so that's when I'll check in with you guys in the meantime feel free to chat with me in the comment section down below of this video you can even reach out to me on instagram or facebook or twitter and ask me your questions there i will leave my social media here on the screen and also down below in the description box so you can find me at ruby galani on all of my social media accounts thank you so much for watching and i look forward to updating you on my journey in the next couple of weeks bye Mwah.